What's going on? This is Alan Brown, AKA Bully the Kid. Today, got a package in from Offbeat Guitars. I'm not really sure what's in it as of yet. Didn't really ask Micah, the owner of Offbeat Guitars, exactly what he was sending me. But I'm excited because every bass I've played from them thus far has been great. So I'm proud of you. I'm, 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 I'm expecting the same. So we're going to see what this thing is. And uh, let's go ahead and unbox this thing right after this. Kick that intro. Yeah, cheat code found. All right, get to save the integrity of the bubble wrap. And you got all these good papers in here. But yeah, so every offbeat guitar, uh, guitar comes with a gator case, very solid uh, protective case, not too heavy, not too thick. Uh, this is a four string bass, so it even comes with a little pick on it, a gator pick and a pick clip. That's cute. Um, yeah, this is certificate for authenticity. In the case, put all that back in there for whoever actually gets this later. Leave all that alone. And uh, let's get to what this thing is in here. Ooh. Oh, got the black strings and the black hardware on this one. Okay. Okay, I like that. That looks nice. Look at that. All right, so we got a PJ configuration here. All black hardware. Got a beautiful purple stain on this bad boy. That looks really nice. Check out that. Check that out. Black hardware, uh, hip shot hardware on there. And uh, pretty standard bridge here, EMG pickups. Uh, I will have the particulars of what everything is in the description so y'all can check that out and see what this thing is uh, made of. And the fretboard is rosewood, the neck is maple, and the body is some sort of pine. But yeah, check the description below and that'll be in there. And uh, let's tune this bad boy up and uh, see what this thing actually sounds like. This is a passive system. And uh, this looks really well done. It's extremely light too. It's probably like seven, eight pounds. Okay. Fresh strings on this bad boy. This is gonna be fun. So yeah, let me tune this bad boy up, get it set up, and we'll give a listen to how this thing actually sounds and kind of walk through it. So y'all uh, stay tuned. Be right back. All right. So I have everything uh, tuned up. Already feels great. The fret ends on it are really, really nice. Everything's rounded over. Really good. Like I really like it. And they're not paying me to say any of this. Um, this, it feels good. They do all their finishes pretty much in like an old base thing. So they all have that good vintage feel, vibe, and then even the smell. It's really weird, but I really like it. So uh, yeah, like I said before, there's EMG pickups here. This is a PJ configuration. Everything is passive. So you have a volume for the P pickup. You have a volume for the bridge pickup and you have an overall tone. Pretty much like any other PJ bass will be set up. Uh, but the crazy thing about this is, this is extremely light. So even if you have like a nylon strap and you have to play like a three hour gig, this won't weigh on your shoulders very much. I don't give it over eight pounds. Like within the case, maybe eight pounds, but by itself, probably closer to seven and a half, seven or so. Um, feels good on the lap. So yeah, let's give this bad boy a go. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, P pickup. I love P basses. And I'm gonna go tone off. 
Uh, the system that I'm playing this through is my Laney Digbit, and I have the uh, CFG CF80 as my wireless situation so I can move around and do whatever I need to do. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, hear what this P pickup sounds like, and uh, we'll do the tone off, then I'll turn it on, and then move to the back pickup and all that stuff. So here we go. Let's go tone all the way on, same type of groove. Let's uh let's do a little slap situation here, tone off. Let's go tone all the way on, same type of groove. Let's go ahead and move to the bridge pickup. It seems as though it is hum canceling. I don't hear any 60 cycle hum, so that's nice. Uh, let's give it a go with the tone all the way off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go tone all the way on, same type of vibe. That's it's nice. All right, so let's go uh, both pickups all the way up. Let's go tone all the way out of it. I think I did tone all the way on with the bridge pickup. Let's see though. So, here's my prediction. I'm gonna put both of these bad boys on 
and in the fully engaged everything on mode, this is going to be great. <laughs> I can already see it. Uh, so let's go both pickups on and the uh, tone off. It's fat. Let's go tone all the way on, tone all the way on. string because if you make a five string of this this would be my travel gigging like i would gig with this this i gig with this but you five string baby let's go five string let's go <laughs> this it's good mm -hmm. i like it i like it a lot feels good I, i'm gonna end up doing some covers with this bad boy um i might do some snippets of what funk just happened but this is good this is nice again Check the description for all the specs and all that good stuff. Uh, out of the box. You watch me pull this out of the box, tune it up, and go. You can't fake that. Like, this actually is great. Like, this is great. Everything's lined up. Everything feels nice. It's very solidly done. There's no noise to it at all. It's passive, so it's always going to be a very trusty road secure situation. It's an oil finish, so you beat it up, put another layer of oil on it. This is, it's just good, man. It's just good. Shout out to you, Micah. Uh, you're doing your thing over there at Offbeat Guitars. So yeah, this, uh, this is the Offbeat Guitar offering that was sent to me from uh, Offbeat Guitars. Again, specs are in the description. And you can go and check this out at the reverb link that I'm also going to be putting in the description. So you can check out all of the stuff that he has. This is not the only style of basses that he has. Uh, I believe he does guitars as well, but they, it's so good. I didn't even see that. The tuning, the truss rod adjustment is here. So you don't even have to take the strings off to adjust the neck, but the neck is perfectly dead flat. This is, it's good, man. Anyway, I've been gushing about this since I started this video, but yeah, uh, 
Y'all go check them out. Thank y'all for watching for as long as you did. Hopefully, you let me know in the comments what you think of this base. I really like it. You know what I'm saying? There are different flavors of it. Greens and reds and oranges and hard stars, horseshoes, clovers, and blue moons. <laughs> it's all it's all there. So, uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Alan Brown, a.k.a. Willie the Kid. Y'all be easy.